Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Bloons TD6. And today we are moving forward with the game you might saw last episode was the first episode you don't wanna miss it, so make sure you go and check it out. But with that being said, I wanna try to make my way forward in today's episode. I got my butt kicked in when I tried normal difficulty last episode. So I figured my goal right now, while I'm learning more about the game, is to try the baby easy difficulty on every map that I can. So maybe going through every single map doing easy difficulty. I wanted to see which heroes we have unlocked. It looks like we only have Quincy, but we are less than a level away, level 14. We are almost at level 14 right now, so if I were able to survive a little bit longer last episode, we would have been able to try Quincy. We might still be able to, but for now, I'm gonna be focusing on easy, or Gwendolyn, not Quincy. But uh, I'm gonna be focusing on easy mode and having a good time with that. And let's see if we completed any missions. We did, big monkey, deploy, deploy a tier four monkey tower. We got 20 monkey money for that. Hero time, deploy a on a or deploy a hero on a non-tutorial map. We got 20 more right there. And then finally, hero powers activate. Use any hero level three ability. Let's go ahead and get that. Very cool stuff. So with all that being said, we should probably head back in because I don't think there's too much I really want to do with any of my monkey money at the moment. I wonder if there'll be any kind of like buildings I can upgrade later because I know that was sort of something we got um, in TD5. There's the daily challenge and stuff and I definitely wanted to start checking that stuff out so I'll be trying my best to get to level 20 in today's episode for sure but I feel like that's really it. So we're gonna move back in. We are going to defeat Monkey Meadow even if it has to be on easy difficulty and give it a shot. When it comes to what I'll be accomplishing in this series, it's sort of still up in the air. I wanna try a bunch of different stuff, for sure. And it really is, you know, if you guys wanna see me do anything specific, just feel free to let me know. But yeah, since we learned a lot in the last episode, I think we're just gonna get to it really quickly in today's episode. Oh my gosh, I keep doing this. Just because, like, how else am I supposed to do that? I gotta grab them from the bottom here. Just gotta sort of just be a bit more careful. But we'll do what we can with everything that we got and just sort of have a lot of fun. Um, for right now, I feel like it'll be good to get a lot of monkeys out and then upgrade them later. I mean, Quincy is gonna get some good experience. You get one cash for every bloom pop, we know about that. And we're just gonna try to make our way through 40 rounds. We made our way through about 40 rounds on normal difficulty and then we lost just because I got a little overwhelmed. I don't think I was really following a good pattern when it came to upgrading monkeys, so I'm hoping to improve that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get three dart monkeys out and each one of them is gonna have a different upgrade. I want this one to have the be the, be the uh, I want the giant spike ball. I feel like he's at a good angle just to throw the spike ball and hit a bunch of balloons. This guy, I wanna be the longer range camo destroyer since he's farther back, that should be beneficial. And this guy can be the middle upgrade, which is gonna be the super monkey fan club. So that'll be pretty cool. Now I do wanna get other balloons out here. I wanna try some different stuff. I think what would be cool now is just, you know, letting everybody sort of level up a little bit. Because right now we're handling things just fine. Um, I think that a dart, or not a dart, but attack launcher or whatever it is, attack machine, there we go. Oh, so it looks like you got that. Keep playing BDT6 regularly and check for new updates, maps, heroes, cool. I really hope that they do add new heroes to the game. That'd be really, really exciting. So I did sort of move around my setup last episode. I'm super sorry. I was like not always facing the microphone because I was looking at the iPad, but I moved the iPad so that when I'm looking down at it, I'm still, like my face is still pointing towards the microphone. So microphone quality should be better. I'm super duper sorry about that. Didn't even realize when I played back the video. I'm recording this basically immediately after recording the previous episode. So thank you for everybody who's watched the first episode and any feedback you might have given me. I'll definitely read it soon. There we go, new hero, Pyromaniac Gwendolyn. Try me in the next game, I would love to. Ah, oh, that's so cool, I can't wait. <laughs> that's so exciting. There's only four heroes in the game right now. So I really hope that we can try them all, of course. So yeah, you're gonna be the spike opult And then we'll also give you, I think quick shots would be better than long range, because we don't need the range. This is where the balloons pop up. So we got that going on. When it comes to you, we wanna go ahead and start working on the long range. I think quick shots would be good for you as well. Lots of options for all sorts of monkeys. So that's what we're working on. <laughs> I don't know how our experience is doing with these guys. I'm actually getting a little curious. Uh, for right now, it's at just really low because we just spent it on that. We need 20 or 12,000 for that next one, the sharpshooter one. So we'll keep that in mind. Right now we're handling things well. I feel like we've gotten a better start than last time and it's even on an easier difficulty. So I think things are going well. And as long as we don't wanna to have to pay our way through the levels here, I think that, you know, Quincy can just sort of sit there and do his own thing, which is great. Cause then I can focus on some other important things. Okay, so we'll do range. I need some monkeys that'll get rid of camo a bit more. Uh, Cause that was sort of an issue we're starting to catch up with is that there were a lot of camo problems. So if I could just, you know, deal with things however I can, that'd be great. And when it comes to you, I think we want faster shooting and then we want more attacks. I don't think I need them to be long range because of where he's placed. He should be able to get rid of a lot that way. 
So I feel like right now that we got a good couple monkeys out, if I could just spend some money upgrading these guys to the best I can at the moment, and then start getting some other stuff out. I mean, there's probably other things we wanna cover, like probably getting this guy so we can get rid of leads. Uh, and beyond that, as long as we can get rid of lead, ceramics, and camos, those are the three scary ones, right? Those are the three ones like, oh gosh, we need specific towers to get rid of. So as long as I have those guys covered, which, boom, now I do, things should be pretty good. Okay. So we just gotta keep upgrading this whole bunch of stuff. Eventually we'll be able to get like ice monkeys out or maybe the glue monkeys, get some good stuff with that. I don't think I can place this guy anywhere because the, you know, uh, no water around. But we might be able to do more than one map today. I'm not really sure. That would be a lot of fun in my opinion. Maybe we could try while we're getting through the game on easy difficulty, trying to do two maps a day. I feel like that'd be pretty fun. Uh, but for now, we're just destroying whatever monkeys we can. And the monkeys, no, destroying whatever balloons. I'm secretly on the side of the balloons. Who is sending these balloons out? Do the balloons have a mind of their own? You know, I've never really thought about the lore of the balloons. What are the balloons doing to the monkeys? Anyways, they seem like they're just trying to pass through. <laughs> I've never given it thought. Yes. And I don't think I ever will again. Um, so let's go ahead. We definitely want bigger bombs, and I think we want faster reload, and then we'll do missile launcher for you. And we still have 800, so we can go ahead and buy enhanced eyesight and crossbow. That'll be good for those camos, getting rid of all that. And we still have Quincy, who soon enough, he should be seeing camos as well. So I'm not too worried about the camo situation at this point. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do those and upgrade that. Okay, so we got these monkeys pretty powerful at this point. I could go ahead and start focusing on that stuff uh, and keep moving forward. What's Quincy's up? doing well, he's level five already. I can't really afford too much without just destroying my balloons. But right now we seem to be good. They aren't really getting past that first loop. Once I start pushing to that second loop, that's when I gotta be careful because I don't really have too many monkeys on the right side. Looks like Quincy get another level up. And I still have the, uh, the power up for Quincy as well. Okay, so level 15. Okay, so this is where we can choose even more new monkeys. I think, I don't know when, which one's supposed to be next, but the wizard monkey is really cool. Hurls magical bolts of energy at the balloons can upgrade to a variety of powerful spells. So now we have him unlocked, which is super exciting. Next one is gonna be the super monkey. And so I wanna get as many towers out as possible so we can get some experience for them. But for right now, it looks like the uh, this guy has gotten enough experience to upgrade something. So let's go to his upgrades. And yeah, as you can see here, we have this. This is the cluster bombs. Throws out secondary bombs instead of sharp fragments every shot. And that sounds actually pretty good. We're not gonna be able to get that for this guy. I think that we probably wanna get a Moab Mauler. Uh, that'll be good, so we gotta earn up a lot of experience for that. And there's also really big bombs, but I think the Moab Mauler will be good because I feel like we had a hard time dealing with Moab, so if we could get even like two Moab Maulers out at some point, that'd be awesome. But for now, if I can s spend my money dealing with this stuff, I think that'd be better. But we always gotta keep an eye on this bottom line of stuff to sort of see who we can upgrade, what we can do. I think now that we have some cash, it might be good to get like an ice monkey somewhere. I'm thinking uh, I really should have made more mo more room for this guy, but maybe even in like a corner like that, that way this sort of have a spot where the most room is taken as possible is really important. Right now he's not gonna be all that helpful, I don't think, but soon enough I think he'll be better and better. So we can go ahead and get like two sniper monkeys out over there and over there. Okay, so this is where the leads are coming in, but that's fine, that's why we have the, uh, the cannon. And I'm thinking like, I wanna set up another cannon, but there's just so much to do. And I'll be trying my best to get better at this game, I promise. Oh, we got hot shots, what are these? Shoot super hot tacks that can pop lead balloons. Then we also have shoot sharp blades instead of tacks. Each pop three balloons and then sprays out 16 tacks per volley. Wow, awesome options. I'm gonna go with the top one just because I like doing it in order because I'm weird like that. And we'll just go ahead and get that. And then for you, we can upgrade that and that's all we can physically afford with the money. So let's go for it. Okay, lots of interesting action going on. And I was almost at affording this uh, super monkey before, and that's what I was trying to save for, because I feel like that would have ended up saving me in the situation I was in, but we're almost done the easy mode. That was so much easier, for sure. I mean, the more we play, the easier everything gets. Which one, which one was seeing camo? Oh, the night vision goggles. Okay, so let's go ahead. I want, I want both of these guys to be able to see, but we're probably gonna split up 
the uh, different upgrades. Anyways, we can go ahead and give you the shrapnel shot, which if we take a look at that, destroys balloon sprayed out, or, or blue balloon spray out shrapnel in all directions. That sounds cool. And we can also for the next one, which is uh, even faster firing, shoots even faster. Awesome stuff. So yeah, cool upgrades for both of our monkeys or both of our sniper monkeys. I can't afford them with our cash right now. Sort of a flip of last round where it's like I could afford everything, but I didn't have enough experience to really upgrade anybody. So I think it's good to start on easy mode. That's my suggestion. That way you can sort of. Uh, not have as much of an issue when it comes to, uh, yeah. <laughs> hi Quincy. Um, so you don't have as much of an issue when it comes to your monkeys is not having enough upgrades to keep up with all the balloons heading your way. And speaking of which, I'm gonna go ahead and get a, or a boomerang monkey out. So I might be just throwing out a lot of random monkeys even if they, if they don't really apply to the situation, just because I want them to have all the upgrades I can possibly give them. So I think playing through all the maps on easy will give us a good chance to get some really powerful monkeys, and then we can try to accomplish more in the game after that. There's a lot of balloons here. I'm thinking that we'll go ahead and waste our superpower a little bit. Yeah, that was sort of kind of a waste. I mean, it restores fairly quickly. It only restores during the wave, I've noticed. If you like, you know, if you wait between the waves like this, it stops reloading, which makes sense. So now we wanna go ahead and get the super monkey. There was hundreds of darts at hypersonic speed with a huge attack range. And how expensive are you? 2,000 actually isn't too bad, but I I wanna keep what I got. It seems like there's different tiers of monkeys, like there's the base tier that are blue, you got some other ones that are green, then we have purple, and then I guess we have like a brownish grayish, and I think that's supposed to be like special. Um, but this monkey right here I think is new, the druid, the alchemist, I know the ninja monkey isn't new, but lots of cool stuff, I'm so excited. So who can be upgraded right now? It's looking like the boomerang monkey can, even though it doesn't tell me that right now, which is weird, usually it tells me on this menu. It's not telling me anymore. Okay, so, Let's go ahead and see who can be upgraded at the moment. It looks like uh, none of these guys. I wanna go back to the beginning. Here we go. Uh, so you guys are almost there, A couple thousand more. You though, we can give you the long range rangs, uh, can throw boomerangs further than normal, you bet. And anybody else at the moment. It Oh, oh, here we go, the ice monkey. You have uh, deep freeze, freezes through two layers of balloons. I will gladly grab that. And then I think that's about it for now, yep. Okay, cool stuff, keep moving. We have $2,000 though, so if we can actually start buying some upgrades, it'd probably be good. Faster throwing sounds good for you. I think we're gonna get a second cannon out about here. Um, and why I want that is if we see this guy, he's got the, the top two. So let's go ahead and give you the bottom two. And we can also give you the cluster bomb, that's so cool, I like it. Oh, and you can be upgraded again. Let's see, upgrades, what do you got now? You have the mob launcher, 2,700. Whoa, that was cool looking, that, that other missile. Ah, oh, man, the art is so awesome in this one. Like, the art's always pretty good in balloons games, but all the, like, I like how every tower has its own little custom art piece. That's always super fun. So yeah, I don't see anybody else who's like, oh, we got a new upgrade. Uh, end of next round has two regrow bl rainbow balloons. If handed poorly, two could turn into something else. I don't really know. No. Oh, I get it. So that's sort of the problem with regrow balloons, is if you attack a regrow balloon and it breaks into two, they could both regrow to be go back to normal. And that's where things get scary. So let's go ahead and make sure Quincy deals with them. First mob class balloon next round. Don't say we, you weren't warned. Okay, so here it is. So we're gonna go ahead and try to take care of that mob with the Moab destroyer. And I think we did pretty gosh darn good if you ask me. I am Quincy. And Quincy, God's level eight. Okay, there we go, victory! You've stopped the nasty balloons. So we could actually go into free play if we wanted, or we could just go home. I sort of wanna go home, but yeah, we could just go on and on forever with free play, which is always fun, but I'm not too interested in the moment. Uh, log in a Ninja Kiwi Cloud to back up your progress. Sure, uh, I don't think, well actually, I don't have this right now, so I'll, I'll set this up later. Um, but yeah, we're now level 16, which means we have unlocked a brand new hero, Gwendolyn the Pyromaniac. Activated abilities has the Cocktail Fire and then the Firestorm. If we take a little look at this, you can see some of the levels she can reach. She gets a new ability at level three, 10, and 20. Okay, Gwendolyn believes there hasn't yet been a balloon problem that can't be solved with fire. Lots of fire. All right, I, I don't know, he or she, I think it's she, looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and select you and go to it. Oh, I'm so excited. Hmm, anything else we can do? I mean, not really too much from this screen, but good to know that we're almost at that 12,000 experience for the normal dart monkey. We do have some other quests going on. We have first win, not one non notorial beginner map win, collect, we get 20 more monkey money. What are you guys spending your monkey money on? I would love to hear. Can't wait to get to level 20 to see the daily challenge. That sounds super fun. 
Um, when it comes to the powers, I think I don't want to spend anything just yet. What are in some? Okay, this is the, the shop. Hmm. I don't really know if I, I, I asked in the first episode and I'll hear back from you guys soon. I just don't really know if any of this is worth it because I'm pretty sure these are all one-time uses, so not always the best. And then there's knowledge, which we can't do, I think, until level 30. So let's just leave it as that. We got our bronze little thing there, so we could move on to normal this time, but I think it would be easier just to do easy over and over again. <laughs> so let's do easy on our new map, which is Tree Stump, and this is where the actual 3D elements of the game might play in a little bit more. So let's get to it and hope everything turns out okay. So as you can see, you can tell where the balloons are going, but if I put a monkey here, it's gonna be blocked by certain tree stumps and logs and stuff, so angles like this are gonna be super important. And with that being said, would it be smarter to start with this? Probably not, I wanna make sure that our monkey buddy is started effectively. So we could go ahead and maybe do sharp shots, razor sharp shots, qu quick shots, because we don't need range on him, we just need speed. But anything past that log to his right is not gonna be hit by him. So this is where the 3D element is super important. We're gonna have to have an interesting spread of monkeys, and that's what's unique about this game. And I think that's super duper cool. So now we can just deal with this. Once again, we're trying to get the 40 rounds, which as you probably noticed, went by quite quickly. I wanna save up 765 to try Gwendolyn. I think Gwendolyn is a little bit more expensive than uh, Quincy, but we'll find out soon enough. So we do have a second chance of getting those guys because they loop all the way around. Luckily, it is still quite the easy map, I think, but it is a little bit more difficult because of the fact that there is a 3D element to it. Okay, so we're almost at 765. Let's, oh, that was sped up. I was like, let's speed this up a little bit. It'd be cool if there were more than one speed ups. Oh, and there are powers you can just buy here. Okay, well, I'm not too interested. Uh, so we still don't have 765. Jeez, this is a little expensive, don't you think? Okay, maybe I should just build up normal monkeys first. But now we got Gwendolyn. I am so excited for this. We'll be able to level her up. I think getting her right at the beginning, something like this would be good. Uh, There, I think that'll be pretty nice. And as you can see, she she levels up, you know, just like all the other heroes. Hey. Yeah, I think Gwendolyn's a she. Sounds like it to me, I don't know. I, I like Gwendolyn, she has a cool fire hair. Um, I think we'll end up getting a monkey maybe over this way a little bit. I wanna try to line the dart monkeys up, that way we can get the super monkey if I need to. Now when it comes to your upgrades, you still don't have 12,000, you are only 300 away? It looked like 301. That is really, really excited until we have another major upgrade. Uh, keep playing balloons TD6 regularly, yep, for all that kind of stuff. Sounds good. I don't think we yet have enough experience. We're so close, so very close. Gwendolyn's doing a lot of work now. You can tell that she just shoots fireballs everywhere. It's really cool. So, we got lots of work ahead of us. If I wanna do anything now, it should probably be getting the cannon out. Try to get some work done with that. Where I wanna put it is a little bit interesting. I'm thinking probably between these two, uh, Dart monkey, so right there sounds good to me. And then I wanna upgrade you. So if we go to our upgrades, we got our final fourth tier upgrade, which is the Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter does powerful crit shots every few seconds to do a lot more damage. So let's go ahead and get that, and then we have like some crazy, crazy stuff that's gonna take us forever to earn. 22,000, 30,000, 35,000 experience, crazy stuff. I think it's gonna be great. And it looks like it's super late gaming, you like 20,000 coins to even activate it, you know? Speaking of which, we have a lot more work to do with everything else now. Um, so I wanted you to be a, I want you to see camos at the least. I think that would be good. We, then we're definitely gonna need one more monkey there that can do the Super Monkey Fan Club. I mean, we could make you see them and then also have you Super Monkey Fan Club. That might be better. Maybe the uh, crossbow wouldn't be that great right now. We can always get it later. But if we have money, I think instead of using it to, uh, of course, uh, there we go. Um, instead of using it to, the more you use a certain monkey, the more upgrades you'll knock for, yep. Instead of using it to buy more monkeys, I would like to just upgrade our towers right now, because we have the upgrades available, we just have to keep working for it. So you are gonna be using that center one for now, and we'll just try to earn up whatever money we can. Right now things are going pretty well, like they haven't even made like a proper loop around the big tree stump. So I think we have lots of options to make some great stuff work. But yeah, I plan on posting this series every day for a little while, have a lot of fun with it, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I have been so far. Okay, so, oh gosh, that yellow balloon made its way past the stump. 
But once again, it has to loop all the way back around. So we have lots of options. I probably want to start setting something up back here as sort of a line of defense against this loop, but also th those advancing towards the end. That could be pretty nice. Probably even like a tack shooter right here. I think it would be nice somewhere around this area, but I don't think I have to quite worry about it at the moment. Yes. Um, yes. I sort of want to see what else we have available. Uh, because I want to go ahead and get the missile launcher, extra range, frag bombs. That sounds good. So we're almost halfway through everything already. We're 18 out of 20, and we're trying to get to 40. Definitely a lot easier than normal mode. Oh, okay, we got to level up. We got magic monkeys, ninja monkeys, or druids. I think we need uh, ninja monkeys next. Stealthy and fast monkey that throws bladed shurikens to pop the balloons, can target camo balloons. Very cool. Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I've, I've been trying to unlock them all in order down here, and it looks like we're doing a pretty good job. Okay. Um, Let's do Moa Mauler, because that's what I really want for him. We don't have the experience for the next upgrade, but I wanted to check that out. You have 2,700, you need 3,000. So you almost got that uh, really big bombs upgrade, which is cool. Okay, so I haven't checked that out yet. Okay, here it is. So I can't wait to give that a shot. Uh, huge bombs blow up balloons in a large area. We're not gonna do that for this one, but maybe a different dude we could do it for. And then for you, I need to go ahead and get that upgrade. 6800 toward the Super Monkey Fan Club. I am very excited for that one. But we are sort of getting a stronger push to different monkeys at this point. We do have our power for Gwen. Let's try this out. Okay, so yeah, she throws a little, um, thing that like sort of sets like a little firewall so they can't get past that. Now, some of these guys do have more than one upgrade to them. We just haven't seen it because we haven't gotten that far. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, so we have a camo here. Why is nobody hitting the camo? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, geez, I didn't even get that camo upgrade. How embarrassing. So, Gwendolyn probably can't see camo. So now is probably the time for a sniper monkey. Where do I want to put him though? Because there's a lot of options here that might not be so great. So if I get the sniper monkey who's right here, you can tell all the spots he'll miss. So I want to try to get that as little red as possible. This is so cool though. It's such a fun idea. Um, I'm thinking that we might just have to have two sniper monkeys. One over this way. I'm thinking right, oh, it's hard to decide. Right there seems good for now. And then we'll have another one on this side like that. And that should be a little bit more effective. So let's make sure everybody has the upgrades they can afford at the moment. Looks like it, so we'll start working on you. We definitely need that. And you know, if we're going with that, we might as well get the, the next one. And then maybe for you, you'll be the top thing and then we'll make him the bottom thing just for a little bit of variety. Cause variety seems good, right? <laughs> I sure hope so. But I definitely feel like there's more of a Variety with everything in this game, it's really cool. Like different options for each and every monkey. So we'll do some of that and that should be nice. Okay, so we got lots of balloons coming in. The last thing I wanna do when it comes to towers is probably just get another bomb. So we got lots of action happening with that. We have 10 more rounds to go and I think we're gonna be able to handle it just fine. So, fired up. Um. What do I want to make with you? I want to try this new one out if I can. So we'll do something like that. And oh, you guys have enough experience to get something. I want, I want you to get this though. So in a couple more rounds. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I'll be doing my best for these first couple episodes to showcase brand new heroes, just like our, our good friend Gwendolyn here. And the last episode was Quincy. It's so cool. You saw one camera balloon back in round 24. I hope you're ready for more. I am, but unfortunately, Gwendolyn can't do much about them. If she throws the fire down, that does seem to damage them to some extent. She didn't really put it where I wanted her to, though. Good to keep it in mind, though. We got 50 monkey money for our level up. Very cool. Getting more than what we used to. Before, we were only getting 20. Now, we're getting 50, so that's super exciting. So, I'm probably gonna do the top one. The 1275 for the really big bomb sounds fun. And then, what do we wanna do for you? I'm thinking we can at least get this for now. And I, we can't afford the other guys just yet. I wanna go ahead and get this. Erases 18 layers per shot, enough to wipe out a ceramic. Isn't that cool? And then we need a lot more experience for this bouncing bullet. But for now, we can go ahead and give that to you whenever we can afford it. Awesome stuff. So right now, I think it's gonna be good just to save up and do what we can with what we have. I mean, if I were to add anything, what would it be? Probably another ice monkey. I really like them. I like how they can slow things down and really make that effective. Uh, there's still no water, so we can't use any of the Buccaneer or uh, 
submarine monkeys. I really hope I haven't been calling them zombies. That was something I had a really bad habit of in Bloom's TV battles, and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that anymore. But then I just, I talk and talk and talk, and I don't really think about it, and then all of a sudden, I get like a million people saying, gee, bro, what's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. Hmm, we'll do the really big bomb for that, because that looks fun. Look at it go. Yeah, those are really big bombs. Okay, cool stuff. I'm really happy with all this, and we're about to hit our final wave. So I wanna probably save uh, Gwendolyn's attack for that. But, okay, this has the two regrows. This will be 39 out of 40, and then after this we have the Moab. So we wanna make sure like our Moab launcher, or Moab mauler is good as possible. Still haven't been able to get the Super Monkey Fan Club. It might just be too difficult to do uh, in easy mode. Like, it's just too much work. There we go, got that. Oh, you look really cool now. Okay, so here's our Moab class balloon. Let's go ahead and I might wanna wait before we use the Molotov at this point. Um, right about now. Nice, okay, that was actually really good. So, uh, and it won't reach any of them. <laughs> okay, still, we got ourselves another victory. Congratulations, you completed this track on easy. So we got 75 coins for that. We could go in the free play like last time, but I don't want to. Unless you guys really wanna see free play, you can let me know. But we're gonna keep playing with Gwendolyn, we're gonna keep having a good time and move on to the next map, which is Town Center. Now this is actually where the tutorial was, right? Which is pretty cool. So we get to go back into Town Center and figure everything out. Uh, I think we're gonna start with the normal monkey again, or we could try to go a little bit different and maybe try a tack shooter. I just feel like that's so risky though. So right now we're just gonna do a normal monkey and I really wanna be able to get our thing. I really wanna be able to get our Super Monkey Fan Club thing. That used to be a strategy I would do, is I would get one super monkey fan club thing, and then a ton of just normal, cheap monkeys. And then just, boom, activate the power that way. We just have a ton of super monkeys for a little bit. I mean, I could just try to save up a thousand right away. Uh, how much is it? 2,000, actually. Wow, that's really expensive. I thought it was 1,200, but I guess I misread it. Okay, so we still have two more monkeys to unlock, the alchemist and the druid, and all this stuff. But we'll worry about all that later. Not my concern right now. But yeah, Bloons is back and better than ever. I'm so happy. Oh, we can use water stuff in this, can't we? Oh, ho, ho, ho. now it doesn't reach too far. So, oh gosh, Um, hold on, hold on. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. You know what, I'm gonna restart really quick. I wanna just go ahead and restart it because I was not paying attention. I got too excited about the fact that water was available. Oh gosh, no, I keep doing that. I'm so sorry. Put you there. Go ahead and give you this upgrade. That sounds pretty good to me and the zoom through all this, that should be good. See, I don't really expect myself to ever be all that fantastic at this game, but I'll keep trying my best. So yeah, that should be pretty good. We'll do the triple shot after that for 340. Should be pretty affordable. Gwendolyn is a bit more expensive. I think so far I do like Quincy a little bit better, but Gwendolyn is fun as well. And I'll, you know, just keep showcasing all the different heroes I can possibly do. Um, each episode, I'll try to save it one hero per episode. So that should be pretty good there. So do I wanna do a Buccaneer? I really think I do. That would be so cool. So if I could save up to 470, I'll probably put him on the top if I can. So that'd be the best spot. It's not the best map for water because it's really far away from the actual lane, but it's still, I want to try the water monkeys. So, broke all of that. Okay, right there, you can see the range isn't very good, but the range gets super good later on, if I remember the, the monkey buccaneer. That's not, that's not where I wanted to put him. Uh, well, we're gonna go for it, see how things go. Even if he only pops a little bit of balloons, it'll be something, some experience for the guy, and that's really cool. But yeah, all the monkeys are 3D models now, which is hard to tell at first, but it's super cool. Um, so yeah, we'll keep moving with this. I think that at this point, we should probably just save up another 765 for Gwendolyn. Seems to be just like a good monkey to have early game, so let's not waste that opportunity. And where do I wanna put Gwendolyn? Probably in the other loop. So, yeah. Okay. Cause that seems to have the le least amount of things blocking her vision. I would say. I mean, no matter what, we're gonna be in a situation where something's gonna be blocking your vision. That's why sniper monkeys seem to be so much more difficult to work with now. They used to be a very, very powerful monkey, and they still are, but they're just harder to work with. See, I'm gonna put Gwendolyn uh, about here. I think that's gonna be good. Level up, okay, you instantly get a level up. You didn't even have to do anything. And what about you? You seem like you're getting some stuff. You have faster shooting, all up and on board, shoot about 25% faster. Let's go ahead and get these upgrades, but I really want the long range. Uh, okay. So we're, we're doing a little bit, 
bad on cash, I think, overall. But I think we're just gonna go ahead and get a boomerang monkey. And I feel like those are the, the three monkeys I wanna focus on. Normal dart monkeys, buccaneers. I mean, we do have to get cannons out for the, uh, awesome. the leads. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll just upgrade and work on that kind of team. Okay, so we do have Gwendolyn's thing, her uh, potion. I always forget what it's called. I think a potion sounds good. It's a fire potion. Okay, keep moving. So we're doing pretty well in today's episode. I'll probably keep on doing this one. We might do another one after this. That sounds pretty cool. I wanna make these episodes at least like a half an hour each, if not more, depending on what we wanna get done. Of course, other episodes later on might be a harder, like harder to accomplish things in each episode just because you know the rounds will be longer. But for now, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Let's go ahead and do these two. And you have enough experience for an upgrade. Yeah, you're definitely gonna get a lot of experience being in the, fr the frontmost spot. But we wanna save five more experience, okay. Does he actively get experience as he pops balloon or is it granted afterwards? It's granted afterwards. Okay, good to keep in mind. For you, we can't afford too much. But you over here, if I could actually click on you, we can get you the grape shot. I remember the grape shot being really good. Adds a spray of five sharpened grapes to the ship for no reason. It's weird, but I like it. And then we have the long range, which is what I've been really looking for right now. Uh, much longer range. I think the crow's nest allows our ship to, to hit camel balloons, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure there is, with the, I think with the submarine, you can see any camo balloon on the map. Or maybe it's just any balloon on the map whatsoever, which is really crazy. Let's go ahead and give you longer range. And then I think we'll go ahead with the uh, faster shooting for now. I think that's not too bad. Okay, so we got more upgrades for a buddy here. He should have the 550 or the 520 for the glaives, which the glaives throws sharper and faster glaives instead of boomerangs. It sounds awesome. I think I wanna put another, oh gosh, no, come on. No, I don't wanna go to the store. I don't wanna buy things. I want to place this monkey right there. Okay, so put the glaives down. And then for you, we'll go ahead and do the other combo. That way we get like a lot of monkey or boomerang monkey experience. I thought that's gonna be our best bet. Okay, let's keep moving. I don't know what round we're in because the monkey money is covering it up. Okay, I'm just like pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm still getting used to, uh, what's it called? I'm still getting used to iPads. I've never had an iPad before this game. I, I bought the iPad for this game. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and get the Alchemist. Harnessing powers of science and magic splashes balloons with acid, allow also brews various potions with different effects. Very interesting. So we'll unlock him. We got one more monkey to unlock after that. And that's gonna be pretty cool. Then we have all the specialty like buildings more than they are monkeys. Okay, so we got some decent cash. I'm gonna use those to upgrade our little buddy here. We got or we got faster rangs. Boomerangs travel around faster. 550, you got it. So for this guy, I should be able to get that stuff. For you, I'll go ahead and do that. And keep moving. Still have like 900 dollars, so. If we can upgrade anything, probably the crow's nest, I think. Oh no, this is this thing. Double shot, two darts at once. I mean, I would like this one, allows the ship to hit camo balloons just for a little bit of extra camo thing. And that generates cash each round automatically. So this is like a money route. And this one adds a powerful cannon. Moab takedown ability, grapples a Moab class balloon and takes it down. I remember that being so good. Oh, I remember that a lot. Attacks super fast. Launches waves of fighter planes that strafe the balloons. I think I like the monkey pirates one. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I, yeah, this guy doesn't have as long range as I was hoping for, so his placement isn't that great. But maybe we should invest into a submarine soon. That would be really cool. Um, and then we can give you the red hot rangs, which are allows boomerangs to pop frozen and lead balloons. That sounds amazing. Um, just getting rid of leads always sounds like a great opportunity if you ask me, so we're gonna go ahead and get that. We can't upgrade you any more for now, but in time, I'm sure things will change. I think that we should probably get another monkey out, just like a normal, typical monkey. And I think we're pretty good on the camo, so we could do something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got rid of that camo pretty quickly. And then Gwendolyn should be able to throw out her fire potion, her fire bomb, whatever it is, and handle it that way as well. I think that that damages them. Okay, no, no, we got this, we got this, we're fine. I got lots of money coming in and I wanna make sure it's used properly. Let's go ahead and do the double shot, just like that. Well, what does the double shot do? I'll find out in a moment. Anyways. Hmm. 
6,800 is gonna be so hard to afford. I mean, we probably want a cannon at this point, because I still don't have too much of a way to get rid of lads. Where do I want the cannon, though? I guess here's a good spot, but really not. Like, I want him somewhere where I wish I, actually, I might be able to squeeze him in right there. I bet that'd be a nice little corner spot for him. We'll find out, might be an awful spot. But I wanna see what else Gwendolyn can unlock, but I just don't think we're to get that far. This is definitely a more difficult level. But I'm enjoying it, I'm having a good time. Okay, so we got rid of that pretty well. We're at $700 now, still can't quite afford those things. But I should be able to upgrade this now. So I want this to be a Moab Destroyer, as per usual, because the Moabs aren't fun to deal with. What do you know? <laughs> They're supposed to be super powerful for a reason. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, there's the Moab Mauler. Very good. We can do 1530 for that, isn't too bad, actually. So nobody has, like, any kind of experience upgrade at the moment. Unless the Buccaneer does, because he's way over this way. No, he's good. Yeah, he's not getting too much experience because of how distant he is. I don't think he gets as much experience when he's not popping as many balloons. But I think we're good with this. Keep moving. This round's definitely taking me a little bit longer. Well, that's fine, I'm just trying to make sure everything goes well. Uh. Okay, so we saw one camel balloon. There's gonna be a lot more coming up. Still can't afford these ones. How much experience are we at with this dude? 2,100, we need 2,500. So after this round, we should be good. We'll go ahead and make it a heavier bomb. And then for you guys, I've really got done what I can get done. Okay, so. I could get a sniper out, I could just get yet another normal monkey and like put him this way and make him the longer range one, that might be fun. Oh, there we go. Okay, so do that, sounds good to me, all we can afford. Okay, we spent a lot of cash there. Can you hit camos? Yeah, you can, they just haven't reached you yet. In time, my friend, in time. Okay, so let's just keep moving with this, upgrade who we can, do what we can. So we should be able to buy that 530, and then 160, not bad. Sharpshooter 1700, which really isn't too expensive, but we just really need to save up some cash, like for all of these upgrades, as much as physically possible. Of course, if I can upgrade any of these dudes, I will gladly do so, but it's looking like my next upgrade is gonna be this 17, you know, let's do the 1530, it's a little bit cheaper. There we go, that is some powerful stuff. Okay, we can finally get this upgrade. So if we take a look at these upgrades, we have the Glaive Ricochet, unlocked for 200 or 2,500 experience. Um, glaives will bounce from balloon to balloon automatically and aggressively. Sounds very cool to me. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that if we can. Do either of these dudes have that? Oh, we got a level up, couldn't even check. Oh, we got the Druid Monkey. Creates a blast of thorns for each attack. Upgrades can call for the powers of the jungle, storm or wrath. Very interesting. I like it. Not too expensive either, 360. Hmm. Okay, so you can do it. I mean, these guys both have the same icon even though they're very different looking monkeys for whatever reason. I don't know what's up with that. But what is the next one we're looking for? Probably the 1700 one. Oh no, we can do the Glaive Ricochet. Let's try that. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now we got some of these. Uh. Oh geez, this is a tough round. But we, we survived it. We survived it. Oh no, we still got more. Gotta be careful. Oh geez. Um, lots of stuff going on. Trying to see what upgrades can we afford. I should be able to soon enough get this. Got it. There we go. That'll be much longer range for getting rid of some camos when they show up. And this is some ceramics. We're getting a little overwhelmed. Uh, this has two regrow balloons. So we gotta be careful. I think that we might wanna use Gwendolyn's ability in a moment. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know, I'd like to hold on to it for next round if I can. It looks like we're gonna be able to. Just barely. Uh, maybe not. Oh gosh, this is scary. <gasps> Ooh, do we have an upgrade for you? We have Bloom, Bloom Impact Moab Assassin and Recursive Cluster. So I think we wanna do Moab Assassin. It's gonna cost 27 to 20, so we should be able to afford it. Um, assassinate, um, assassinate Moab Ability. Special missiles fly out and does massive damage to Moab Balloon. So let's go ahead and buy that for 10,000 experience. Very exciting. So that means that when we buy it for 2,700, which we can almost afford. Oh, we can't quite do it. Okay, um, that's fine, it happens. Let's go ahead and make Gwendolyn do the fire. Didn't really put it where I thought she would. 
Okay, so we didn't really need to. We got ourselves a victory either way. So another 75 monkey money for us. And that's three levels completed on easy. We got level 20, which as you can see, unlocks the daily challenge in the loop medium standard. So that is probably something we'll tackle next episode. We actually unlock a power up for that. And then a submarine monkey, 200, I don't know what that means. We have nine hours to do this one. That's for June 14th. Very exciting. And with all of that being said, that means we are wrapped up for today's episode. Stay tuned, next episode we'll definitely check out the daily challenge. I need to be level, what, 21 to get used? We should probably be able to check out Striker Jones in the next episode as well. Very, very awesome stuff. For now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bloons TD6. If you watched the video, make sure you comment Gwendolyn Zebra, so any of you watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.